What's going on, everybody? This is Jose Betancourt from TalkingAboutGames.com. And as always, thank you for viewing my videos. So here I have a 9.7-inch iPad Air 2 and a 12.9-inch iPad Pro. If you're familiar with Apple products, you're fully aware that there is going to be a 9.7-inch iPad Pro, which is going to be identical to the iPad Air 2, which is this size. And as you can see, the iPad Air 2 fits inside of the Pro or the Pro 1.0. Now, a few people have asked me if I was going to switch over, if I was going to purchase a 9.7 inch iPad Pro and get rid of the 13 inch or the 12.9 inch. The answer is no. I have the 9.7 inch form factor in the iPad Air 2, which is a great tablet. And by the way, you're gonna find it for a lot cheaper. I had stated that in my review for the iPad Pro. But the benefits of having a 9.7 inch iPad Pro is that you can still use the pencil. You're going to have 4K video in the back, which is amazing. But I'm not gonna take video on my iPad Air 2 or my iPad Air Pro. I mean, my app, iPad Pro, excuse me. It's just not for me, I'd rather do it in either my iPhone 6 Plus or the iPhone 7, whichever comes out. They also announced a four inch iPhone. So that's going to have 4K capability. Maybe I pick one of those up and have a very, very portable 4K recording device. But that is not why I picked up an iPad Pro. I picked up the iPad Pro to do movie editing, edit my photos, and watch a lot of movies this screen is incredible the portability i'm getting used to it i can hold it with one hand can't hold it with one hand like i could with the ipad air 2 which you see everything moving around right now but you can see i can grip this with ease but i'm sticking with the ipad air i mean with the ipad pro excuse me but the air 2 is still a fantastic device, as you can see there. I just really, really enjoy using the bigger iPad Pro. I can't go back to editing videos, editing audio, editing, uh, editing photos, excuse me. I can't go back to doing that on the 9.7 inch form factor, even though sometimes I do it if I'm working on uh, while I'm sleeping, not sleeping, who the hell works while they're sleeping, excuse me. But if I'm laying down, relaxing, I'll grab the air to and either read or do a quick uh, editing of some photos or maybe mess around with GarageBand, create some loops. But the brunt of the work goes into the iPad Pro. It's a monster and you're also going to get it in a 9.7 inch form factor. And that in itself is truly impressive. So if you want a smaller uh, device, well, not smaller because this is the form factor that most people got used to uh, either working with, watching movies, browsing the internet, whatever. The iPad form factor has always been 9.7 inches. So you're going to get you're gonna get a lot of power inside of a, of a familiar form factor that is going to sell a lot. People are gonna buy this new iPad Pro. Once again, this is not the iPad Pro, this is the iPad Air 2. I just wanted to show the form factor. But once again, I'm sticking with the 12.9 inch iPad Pro. It's a fantastic device. Four gigabytes of RAM. The new i uh, the new iPad Pro. Uh, once again, 9.7 inch iPad Pro is going to have two gigabytes of onboard memory or random access memory RAM, whatever you call it. I don't know if that's going to make a huge difference for some, but for the amount of work that I do on my iPad Pro. The RAM is definitely more useful to me than a 4K camera. So there you have it. 
my reasons why I'm keeping the 12.9 inch iPad Pro and not going with the new 9.7 inch form factor. I just prefer the horsepower underneath the hood and the screen is amazing. The 9.7 inch iPad Pro is gonna have a great screen and a few features that are not present in the bigger version. But anyway, I'm Jose Betancourt. As always, thank you for viewing my videos. Let me know which iPad Pro if you're going to pick one up. And I'll talk to you soon.